Hey guys, Prinzel here. Welcome back to another video. And right now, or today, if you want me to do that, uh, we are going to be talking about something right now. And as you can tell, it's the same day as I just did the other video I recently uploaded. If you didn't check that out, that's about that. The, um, Amazon thing, my job or whatever thing. Alright, so. This is more of a Godzilla thing. So, just one second. Hey. Hey. Alright. So, recently I found out that they did like a, an, a complete origin story for the uh, Godzilla Monster Planet or Godzilla. I'm just gonna go with Godzilla 2017 because it's more easier to say. Um, like what the orange series is, and yes, I will put pictures because pictures are fun. So, first things first. Um, Shin Godzilla does not have two eyes. Alright, so he has just one normal eye. You, it's small because for some reason, uh, they're making Godzilla's eyes super freaking small. Like 2014, small. Uh, Shin Godzilla, small. Uh, this one, small. Uh, but the thing is, there's something weird. Now, I thought Shin Godzilla was really weird. How about this? Instead of Godzilla being an animalistic, uh, giant, uh, nuclear powered organism, uh, creature, lizard, whatever, animal, he, in this one, is a plant. Yes, you heard me right, a plant. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys already heard this from other YouTubers, but I thought it might be something to talk about for my thoughts. So, first, uh, I think it's kind of weird that he's actually more of like a plant than just you know Godzilla as we know hold on just fix that. because originally Godzilla was just like an animal or uh, a mutated creature but as Shin Godzilla was more of like a nuclear uh, organism, um, more of made of like uh, nuclear waste. But this being a plant now is kind of weird and small. Well, it's not like more of like it's not like a you know uh, catch on fire plant like a like a, a functional color. Uh, flower or something like that, you know? Because I, I wondered, like, so if Godzilla breathes atom atomic breath, so technically that's super hot, like, you know, fire or something like that, how come it doesn't, like, catch him on fire? But his, the plant self, like, you know, evolved into, like, more of, like, a metal, I'm thinking, like, tough skin. So I won't like burn and catch on fire. And something else is that's weird is instead of being the first gut monster to appear, he is like the one of the last ones to appear. Because, you know, uh the world has been fighting the uh kaijus for a, a while and then uh in twenty thirty I think it was, uh Godzilla shows up, and they, and then they're like, oh man, we can't, we can't kill this guy, he's too strong, we can't do it, we're out of here. And then later when they come back, it would make sense that, uh, the world adapted to Godzilla, because he's like, a more of like a plant, and... He needed to be more of, like, his environment. 
and the environment changed because of the plant system inside of the go if in go go Godzilla. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I, I'm not saying it's true. But, which is kind of cool in its own way. But, you know, I can't really judge it until I actually watch the movie, which comes out in November, which is my favorite month. Well, because it's my birthday month. And, um, I don't know how I'm going to watch it. I might watch it on the fire stick that I got. Or, just beg the heck out of my mom to get, uh, maybe, like, I can get my, my mom to do, like, a birthday thing where I get Amazon, I mean, not Amazon, dang it, uh, Netflix for, uh, like, a couple, um, like, a month or something, so I can watch the Shing, uh, <laughs> uh, the Godzilla movie, so I can, you know, watch it, but... One thing is, I don't know if it's going to be in English, which is I hope, but, you know, it's probably going to be same as Shin Godzilla uh, English subtitles, but, which won't really bother me, I mean, I just hope, like, it doesn't go, like, uh, not, not trying to be offended, uh, trying, to, ugh, trying to offend any, uh, Japanese language, but say, like, he's talking, the guys are talking, like, Let's go look, 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 I can't, I can't sit, talk Chinese, and like it shows the words, but like sometimes I can't read that fast because I try to pay attention to the other background, you know, just touch my mouth. <laughs> but you know, like, and then like it goes away, and I'm like, dang it. And one of the things I don't like to do is rewind because it kind of it's like. <laughs> And it makes me mad, and I'm like, Ooh. I gotta take a Oh, okay, they call me that. Um, so, you know, that kind of stuff. And, of course, the atomic breath is blue, just pointing that out. And, um, now, it's saying that it's going to be a plane. Plant doesn't really change anything for me getting the extra response to arts. I mean, it's still Godzilla either way. Uh, it's just a different form because, you know, not all Godzillas are the same. And I like how they went with something different than just having the same old Godzilla, you know? Like they did with Shin Godzilla. Um, like, they didn't really do anything for 2014, uh, us, the Americans, besides just make them look different and sound different and stuff like that. But instead of being, you know, just like a radioactive mutated dinosaur that can't die, they went with something else as a mutated plant organism that can't die and is overpowered and as and it kind of ties in to the uh, uh the title uh monster planet or planet of monsters i don't freaking know which one it is uh because it would i mean it would be better if it was godzilla's planet because Technically, it is, because it adapted to Godzilla, because Godzilla's a planet. But, you know, Monster Planet, it's technically Godzilla's planet now. It's technically Godzilla's, like, ruler of the whole entire world, because Godzilla, because the world adapted to Godzilla. And I think it would be kind of cool, because I hope they go with, like, an uh, apocalyptic. I can't say it. Apocalyptic. You know what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, we're an apocalypse. Apop you know, like, you know, when the movies, how plants grow inside of the 
uh, buildings and stuff. I, I can't really say it, but when like an apocalypse happens, like a zombie apocalypse, and uh, take The Last of Us for um, uh, example, the build. If you haven't played it, go check it out. It's an amazing game. Uh, the the buildings are kind of rusted out. Plants are all growing in it. It's all uh, crushed. There's water overflowing. I hope they go with that kind of design to the you know the cities and stuff. I think it would be kind of cool, you know, to do that because you know why not? Why not? And. Like, I don't know much of the ga monsters that Godzilla is fighting, but I hope, I'm not sure if he will fight any monsters in the, uh, you know, the, uh, movie. Because they haven't showed any of the other monsters yet, besides the, uh, I keep forgetting his name in the... You, you know what I'm talking about. The four-eyed dragon-looking monster. Silverium. I can't pronounce it. And I don't remember what it was called. But, yeah. <sighs> I'm kind of tired. <laughs> but, like, I would like to know what kind of monsters. I, I'm pretty sure it was, like, Orga or something like that. But, uh... I, I've recently heard that, like, some people want to know if, um, like, Biolante was going to be in it, Hold on. Yeah. which I think would be a perfect design for the uh, movie, because since uh, Godzilla is a plant, and Biolante is a plant, in Biolante is more related, uh, kind of related, technically related to Godzilla, because it's, he, she's part Godzilla, in human. But I think it would be a perfect idea, because the, because of the environment and such. But, you know, we'll find out once the movie comes out. Which is, I'm hoping to see, because the plant ideal makes me kind of want to see the movie more. Because it's interesting to know, like, how, how they went through with it and what they were doing and stuff like that. Uh... But yeah, that's all the real much time as I got for this video. So I uh, thank you for watching. Oh, my tab was up 15%. So I thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.